start with reduce. If overconsumption is at the heart of most environmental crises, then the answer is to use less stuff. Not so fast, not all consumption is bad. The trick is to make smarter choices about what we buy and what we do with stuff after we buy it. Focus on changes that make the biggest difference. Drive less, drive a fuel-efficient car, take, few, take fewer airplane trips, eat less meat if any at all, upgrade your home's insulation, and choose energy-efficient heating and cooling equipment. Lighting and appliances, if you can afford it, reduce your dependence on the fossil fuels with a solar water heater or solar electric system. Bringing your bags to the grocery store is a fine small step, but pays in a comparison to the bigger stuff like whether you walked, bike, or drive a gas guzzlers or guzzler to the store. Look for the most effective leverage point. The best opportunities for reducing your ecological footprint arise when you make a major change or purchase. A new job, a new home, a car, a heating system, or a refrigerator. Watch your weight. In general, heavier items have a larger environmental impact so you can or so you need to be smarter when buying the bigger stuff. A refrigerator has a vastly larger impact on energy use and carbon dioxide emission than a toaster. So when buying a fridge, make energy efficiency the top priority. Compared with an MP3 player, a plasma screen TV requires more resources to make uses more energy to run, and will create a greater disposal burden. Some people say you have to spend more to be green. The truth is, being frugal and living green have a lot in common. Using stuff that's been around the block a few times is generally much easier on the planet and on your wallet than buying new products. We have our reused. Love the one you read. Advertisers keep up a relentless or relentless pressure on us to buy the latest, greatest, and next new thing, whether it's addressed with this with these seasons or a laptop with a faster processor. New products are seductive sometimes we really need or we really do need them. But sometimes we just long for them. Cultivate secondhand style. Some things are better new like underwear and your dresses, but for most other things you need to buy, consider giving a new home to use product. You don't, or you don't have to be a dumpster driver or diver, uh, rather, to be a reuser. Support your local repair shop. In many communities, the local gobbler has gone the way of drive-in movie theater. These days, when the soles or, ho or heels of shoes we're out, people throw away the shoes and buy new ones. Let's proceed to recycling. Recycling is an environmental virtue, and it is a good step to take as a last resort. But it's almost always better to reduce or reuse rather than recycle. Some materials like glass, steel, and aluminum can be endlessly recycled, but the process requires considerable industrial effort. 
with inputs of everything from energy to clean water to virgin materials. When we think we're recycling, we're actually downcycling, which occurs when a material gets recycled only one time and then becomes unrecyclable. A plastic water bottle, for example, can be recycled into a polyester fleece jacket. Recycling means less demand for the petroleum-based virgin fleece, but if that recycled fleece jacket isn't itself recyclable, the jacket will be toast when it's no longer wearable. Downcycling will extend the material's life, whereas true recycling keeps the material in play potentially forever. Recycling also reduces energy, water, and pollution related to manufacturing. Producing new paper, glass, new paper, glass, and metal products from recycled materials saves 70% to 90% of the energy and pollution, including carbon dioxide that would result if the product came from virgin materials. We have also recover. Recover is a means of recovering energy or materials without any pro or any pre-processing from the waste that can't be used for something else. This is the recovery of materials or energy energy content of a waste without any pre-processing. For example, Waste oils that can be refined for use in vehicles are used for energy recovery. Source reduction, reusing, and recycling waste are the first step that should be taken for managing solid waste. But even with our best effort, we may still need of getting rid of some waste. Many items that would be normally thrown out can be repaired can also be upgraded or reused this is usually cheaper than buying a new one these items include tires shoes home and office furniture and equipment like equipment lighting fixtures lawn mowers electronics clothes and automotive parts consider Re-upholstering, refinishing, or repairing old furniture have large appliances be repaired rather than buy a new one. And also, the importance of efficient waste management, it gives us fertilizer. We have here a saying, a man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. Living more lightly on the planet doesn't have to involve a radical up, radical upheaval. It can be as simple as organizing errands more efficiently. Practice the five R's, the reuse, reduce, recycle, recover, and repair. These principles are ways of showing concerns for our environment and for ourselves. Always remember that do one's part in disposing materials to keep a clean and safe environment. As a student like you, you can do something to benefit your home and your community. With a parent or a guardian is a permission, volunteer your time. You can help others and feel good about yourself.